Welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. And now I have to be honest with you, my husband just informed me that he wants to go for a run. So to him, health is more important than a great quality video. So I'm going to run through this as fast as I can. If I make a mistake, so be it. Here we go. So we need to do just a basic review before we dive into the main stuff. We talked in class about the slope of the line and the formula for slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and please write these down. All of these will be on your video quiz and then the next one is slope intercept form which is y equals mx plus b and of course the m stands for the slope of the line and then our b is the y-intercept and we are also going to use point slope which is y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. First we're going to talk about slopes of parallel lines. If two lines are parallel then their slopes are equal. So looking at this graph here we have two parallel lines and just using rise over run we can see that they are parallel. This one here has a slope. Well, we're going to go up 3 over 1, so it has a slope of 3. And then over here, we're going to go up 3 over 1. This one also has a slope of 3. And any two vertical lines or horizontal lines are always parallel. And now let's talk about slopes of perpendicular lines. Well, if uh, two lines are perpendicular, the product of their slopes is negative 1. Now let's think about this for a second. Product means multiplication. And this is a review. If we have um, an equation of the line, or if we have a line, it has a slope of 3 over 2. Well, then a line that is perpendicular to that is going to have the opposite reciprocal slope. So again, if we have a line, and it has a slope of 3 over 2, then a slope perpendicular to it is going to be the opposite reciprocal, so it's going to be negative 2 over 3. Well, if we take these two slopes and multiply them, because again, product means multiplication, well, 3 times 2 is 6, and then 2 times 3, and then we have a negative here, is negative 6. So then simplifying that, that it simplifies to negative 1. So no matter what, if we take two lines that are perpendicular and multiply their slopes, it's always going to give us a product of negative 1. Now, the main point of this whole video is we're going to take some given information to write a new equation of a different line. And what we're looking at here is what is an equation of the line parallel to y equals 4x minus 2, and we're given that it has this point, negative 2, 5. Well, let's break this down. We know that we have one line and it has this equation right here. Well, let's graph that. And it has a y-intercept of negative 2, so here's negative 2, and then go up 4 over 1. So it would look about like this. And we want to find an equation of a different line that's parallel to this line, but we know it contains the point negative 2, 5. So I'm going to graph that point negative 2, 5. Well, if it's parallel, then my new line is going to be about right here. So let's uh, break this down a little bit more. If it's parallel to this line, well, it's going to have the same slope. So if it has a slope of 4, our new line is going to have a slope of 4. So now we have a point on this line and we have the slope. So if we have a point and a slope, we're going to use point slope. So let's plug in what information we have. Well, we know we have a slope of 4 because it's parallel, so I put that here. And then I this is my x1, y1. So the 5 is my y1, the negative 2 is my x1. I've plugged it in here. And then just simplifying, I would have y minus 5 equals 4 times the quantity x plus 2. I've just simplified this right here. And then I'm going to change this to slope intercept as well. So I'm trying to get that y by itself. The first thing I'm going to do is distribute. So 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 2 is 8. And then the next step 
would just be to add 5 to both sides. So 5 plus 8 is 13. Now I'm in slope intercept. So I've gone from point slope to slope intercept. Now we're going to do one more of these. Oh, and then of course here is what um, my line would look like approximately. I messed up, but you know what? I don't care. I'm just going to leave it in there. Okay, the next one, the last one, is we're going to find an equation of the line perpendicular to this line right here and contains the point negative 3, 7. So again, let's break this down. We know that we have an equation for this line. It has a y-intercept of negative 5 and it has a slope of negative 1 over 3. So I'm going to go up 1, backwards 3, and that would be where I would graph this line. But I want to find an equation for another line that's perpendicular to this line. So I know that it has a slope of 3, or my new line has a slope of 3 because it, if it's perpendicular, the opposite reciprocal to this one would just be 3. And it would end up, where'd my point go? Somewhere at the end of the video, my point's going to pop up. Anyway, I meant to graph a point. It should show up about right there. So my new line would look approximately like this, but let's plug it in. There's my point. Sorry, that took a while. OK, so we are going to use point slope. And we have our new slope for this line. And we have our point. So plugging it into point slope, I'm going to use this slope. And I'm going to use this point. So this would be a 7. This would be negative 3. And then just simplify. So we have a negative. Negative turns positive. And then just distribute. So 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 3 is 9. And then, of course, add 7 to both sides would give me 16. So I've gone from point slope and then I went to slope intercept. And hey, that's about it. I think we're done. So you know what, you guys? I'm going to go for a run. Sorry for all the mistakes, but sometimes you got to be healthy rather than having a great video. I'll see you guys in class.